AP World History 2012. Topic number one, Shifting Global Power. Part two, The Rise and Fall of Islamic Empires from 600 CE until 1918. The fall of Rome around 600 CE left a huge power vacuum. In essence, a power vacuum occurs when a leading power falls and other powers all try to enrich themselves. The eastern half of the Roman Empire remained. More specifically, the area around Constantinople. However, this area would be at war with new emerging Muslim powers in this region between 600 and the 1400 CE. During this time, the Persian Empire was also struggling and soon incorporated the Arab and Muslim empires. During the 600 CE, people of the Muslim faith believed that God contacted a messenger named Muhammad. It was thought that God had instructed Muhammad to recreate religion in a sense, as the people were drifting too far of, off of what God had intended their daily practices to be. Because of this, Muhammad formed the new religion in the 600s. This new religion quickly spread through the vast areas of land and eventually unified the Arabian tribes into one single nation. The nation was first under the Umayyad and later was under the Abbasids. The Umayyad reign lasted from approximately 661 to 750 CE, while the Abbasid Empire was in power from 750 to 1258 CE. Although the Golden Age in the Abbasid Empire had high influences in medical techniques, literature, and mathematics, one of the most important advancements was found in its trade routes across Asia. Vast amounts of trade and other intellectual development in the Islamic empires allowed Baghdad to emerge as the new capital of the Islamic world in 750 CE. The House of Wisdom in Baghdad became the intellectual center for Muslim scholars. Here, the breakthroughs in medicine, philosophy, and mathematics were made. Baghdad became the hub of learning for both scientists, mathematicians, and many other intellectual emerging. Among the most influential scientists was Al-Jazari. He was a scholar, inventor, mechanical engineer, craftsman, artist, and mathematician from the current site of Sizri. He put together a book that, when translated, has the title The Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices. Among other influential ideas that were originated in the Islamic empires and present details on the modern world are the advancements made in algebra by the scholar Al-Biruni. Al-Biruni was a man who studied a variety of topics in India, but he had the most influence on astronomy and mathematics. He had ideas of the Earth's axis and different trigonomic equations, and was one of the founding fathers of algebra and helped with the development of the numeral. The Muslims influenced Spain as a conduit. Here, mathematic advancements were made, the Hebrew language was rediscovered by the Jewish people, Christian and Muslim scholars ventured into Spain, and during this period, Greek philosophy was translated and preserved. Also, advancements in libraries were made, as was seen with the libraries of Cordoba. In Spain, Cordoba was seen as the capital of the wisdom under the Umayyads. One of the best libraries was one owned by scholar Al-Hakam. It contained over 400,000 books, which had a 44-volume catalog. Other influences come from the Islamic empires as well, with an example being music. A man named Zaryab, nicknamed the Blackbird, was a musician from Baghdad who later relocated to Spain and opened the first music school of Europe in Cordoba in the 800s. He was the father of Andalusian music and is said to have improved the oud by adding a fifth pair of strings and using an eagle's beak or quill instead of a wooden pick. During the 1200s, Mongol power was vicious and cruel. They burned Baghdad to the ground and conquered a lot of the Middle East. It was after then that the Islamic power began to overall decline. However, ideas and achievements of the Abbasids still lived on. Islamic power began to decline as the Sunni-Shiite split caused an internal religious divide. Another notable feature was the fall of the Abbasid Empire in the 1200s. Later, the remaining power was divided among the empires of the Ottomans, the Safavid, and the Mongols, with the Ottoman Empire being the largest. Years later, the Ottomans became vulnerable to Europe. They were seen as the sick man of Europe because the British controlled them through funding and diplomacy. They were heavily reliant on others. During World War I, the Ottomans allied with Germany and the Allies promised Arab independence. However, the Allies took over the Arabs, which became many of the problems that have plagued the Middle East up to modern day times. Although the Abbasids and other Islamic powers had a great influence among many societies, little is known about their achievements. Many scholars think that Islamic achievements were, and still are, often obscured by the West is best mentality and the legacy of European imperialism, causing the idea of Orientalism to be stuck on the second hand.